In this video, I'm going to import some codes to the app that will make this amazing text style. You can see it in the right side. There are very cool styles that you can make. But before doing anything, make sure to subscribe this guy on YouTube. He makes amazing content and this idea was first discovered by him and I only learned some codes. So let's get started. So, as you can see in the top right, uh, I've already made two examples. So, let's start with the default cube example. Uh, first of all, we want to make it a little smaller than the normal text. So tap on rename and that's where we code. So open a bracket, size and the value can be 10 or 9 or 8, it doesn't matter. Uh, close the bracket, then type your text uh, in the middle of the code. Just we go with default and close the code like this and here we go. Uh, now it's smaller than the normal value uh, Now we want to make uh, the Q part Let's start with making it bigger So uh, the same thing uh, Open the code size Then uh, we can just type 16 Or whatever you want uh, Then we just write Q and Again closing it with a bracket And here we go uh, we have a bigger cube text now and uh, I want to add a bold effect that's very easy guys just type bold uh, in the beginning of your code of your new text code uh, then add another B and finish it like as the same method as the previous ones and now you can see it has bold effect so the next step uh, add a hot pink color to it uh, in the middle of the code just type color and uh, you can just name any color or uh, write a color code uh, that doesn't matter I will be writing my channel's color code uh, then just don't forget to close the code uh, just like this and again here we go uh, we just made our example uh, so let's go and uh, make a gradient color effect a rainbow color or something like this uh, First of all, let's find out how to uh, find the color code That's not hard at all. You just need Prisma 3D uh, Here it is. It's the color we want Just copy it and paste it here so let's write another one uh, with the bold effect and uh, we just add a color uh, don't forget to add this hashtag uh, then uh, write the color code I've already memorized the color I want uh, uh, and close the code with the color and bold tail so as you will see now the C letter will have a slight purple color. We need to do the same thing for the other letters. So all of them will have a separate color. And that's how we can create a gradient effect. So we can just copy the code and uh, repeat it again to make it faster. Then uh, copy more codes for the colors and paste it here and after doing all of them it will have a stunning effect on your text style so let's see how it will turn out so it's already looking cool but if you want it to look cool like this uh, just pay attention to pick the colors that are next to each other in this color wheel Otherwise, uh, the colors will not match each other and it would not be a rainbow uh, because the difference is a lot uh, and the human eye can detect it. 
so let's go for the bill ladder uh, it's getting slightly red and wow it's so cool isn't it uh, for the last letter I will pick another code and paste another code into the name of our object and uh, it's the uh, last one let's see how it will look so I will write the color and uh, the last letter and uh, these lines are accidentally added so I will remove them right now try not to make a mistake because it's not possible to scroll back in this section it's very hard to do that and you might not be able to fix it again if you make a mistake so be careful about that mm. anyways here you are now we can make any other text style depending on your creativity uh, and it's good to know that this method also works in recon so we can try it in recon as well and another quick reminder to subscribe to this guy who discovered this very cool fact first uh, and another reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so the video is over right here uh, thanks for watching this video stay low poly have a good day